We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and have to solve for us. We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and have to solve for x. But up first, we need to understand the variable. A variable is a letter like A or X. It stands in place of a number. It's not that complex. Next, we need to understand the inverse operation. That's when you have an operation and reverse it. Like a pineapple upside down cake, you just can't quit. It's time to figure out solving for x. Start with the example 5x equals 25. The first side multiplies, so change it to divide. So divide both sides by the number 5. Because if you do it to one side, you gotta do it to the other. That gives you x equals 5. Give the word to your mother. We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and how to solve for x. We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and how to solve for x. Now let's figure out equations and expressions. They sound the same and they're not that lame, like a man in a circus with a lion to tame. You started learning equations back in first grade. When you were adding and subtracting, but you didn't know. What you were doing were well, equations. Then you started to grow. As you progress through the year, you learn some more. Expressions or equations without the equal sign. Like 7 plus 7 or 9 plus 9. That's it for this rap and all too bad. Now we know what all these things are, so now we are all much smarter by four. We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and have to solve for x. We got equations, expressions, inverse operations. We understand these variables and have to solve for x. X. X.